Hey, what's up? I am Sam, and welcome to my Origami Dojo. So today, we're going to be taking a look at making some origami airmail. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if airmail is still around, but... You know what? Let's bring it back, shall we? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to begin with the square, white side up, and we'll start by folding it in half on both diagonals. And now we'll fold it in half both horizontally and vertically. And now let's take the edges and fold them into the center like so. So we'll take the first edge, then fold it in. Then rotate around and fold in the opposite edge. Then we'll unfold, rotate, and do the same on the remaining two edges. So we'll fold this one into the center, then rotate, and fold the other one into the center. Now let's unfold and turn over. And now we're going to fold all four corners to the center. So let's fold in the first one and increase sharply. Then rotate around, fold in the next one. And then just do that on the last two corners. And now let's unfold them and turn over once more. And now what we're going to do is push in on the corners right here. And we're going to bring the edges into the center again, all at the same time. And now let's flatten this flap over this way, and then we'll just flatten this one upwards, and this one to the right, and this one facing down. And this is the completed windmill base. Okay, so to turn this into a sunken water bomb base, what we're going to have to do is squash this flap here down on the existing crease and do that with the other three. So we'll just open it up and squash it down, then open up and squash down, and open up and squash down. And there we go. So to sink it, now let's turn over, and we're going to take this corner here and fold it into the center and crease sharply. Then we'll rotate and do the same thing here. We'll fold this corner into the center. And then we'll do the same thing with the last two. And now let's unfold them. And we'll unfold everything. Well, not quite. We're just going to unfold one flap for now. We'll leave everything basically folded. And now what we have to do is take this miniature water bomb base here and turn it inside out. So let's turn these folds around the edge into mountain folds. So we'll just pinch that up. And we'll pinch this here and this one here. And now what we have to do is just turn these diagonal folds here into valley folds and then push. So we'll just fold this flap in half like so. Then unfold and fold and fold it in half on this edge here on the next crease and then we'll just bring the two edges in and there we go we've sunk one I was going to say one half but sadly we still have three to go Okay, so once we have our sunken windmill base, what we're going to do is unfold this flap here. Actually, it doesn't matter which one you choose, but just play along with me. Then we'll unfold it out again. So we'll turn this center diagonal fold here into a mountain fold. We'll just lift that up like so, pinch it together, and then fold it up like so. And now what we're going to do is take it and we're going to fold it down along so that this edge here lines up with this edge here. 
and it'll make a new crease. So what we have to do is just take that and fold it like so. And then crease it down sharply. And now what we have to do, let's see here, we're going to take this flap here and we're going to fold it in so that this edge meets this crease here. So we'll just fold that in like so. And then we'll take this edge here or we're going to take it and fold up so that this edge here lines up with this edge here. So we'll just fold it up and this is why you shouldn't use six inch origami paper in your first try because it's going to be really really hard and crease see so it's like a miniature frog base type thing okay and then we'll un and let's see then we'll unfold that and let's just leave this flap here in place and what we're going to do is take this edge and fold it out to this edge here And then we're going to fold up on the crease we are, that's already there. And we're going to fold this edge here down to meet this edge here. And you can see where I'm going with this. We're going to fold up on the valley creases, then fold in half, then fold up on the last one, and fold down again. And there we go. Wing one is complete. And let's unfold that here. And now, to make it into a wing, let's just... Whoa, what I do is just lift this up here and turn this fold into a mountain fold. And let's crease like so. And there we go. That's wing one. And now if you'd like, you can do some more shaping. Like, for example, what I like to do is make tiny reverse folds along the edges here to give it a more feathery look, like a bird's wing rather than just a pleated piece of paper. And, and now what we have to do is make one more wing. You could make four if you want, but... Have you ever tried to fly with four wings? It's much easier with two. Not that I know from experience, but... Okay, so what we're going to do is do the same thing with this. We're going to unfold that flap and fold it over, and then fold down along this edge here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side, only in mirror image. So we'll take this edge here, fold it in to meet the pre-existing crease, then fold the whole thing up, so that this corner touches this, the midpoint here, and flatten. Then we're going to unfold, then take this edge here and fold it out to the furthermost edge there. Then fold this flap over on the existing crease, then fold it out again. Then fold it up on the next crease and fold it out again. And I know it's a little bit tricky to see what I'm doing here because my paper is so small, but bear with me. Then we'll do that one more time. And there we go. We have another wing. And so let's just lift it up like before and turn this into a <clears throat> mountain fold here. And there we go. There's wing two. And now... Our origami airmail is mostly done. The problem is that if this was an envelope, it's not a very sturdy one. So to make our envelope a little more secure, what we're going to do is fold this flap outwards like so, and then fold it over to the left. And then we're going to take this flap here, and we're going to tuck it inside the pocket behind. Now there are two pockets. There's this one here, which is a lot more open, and this one here. Naturally, we want to tuck it into the more secure one. So let's just fold that over along the edge, push it inside like so, and then just crease sharply. And there, your envelope is mostly locked. All we have to do is do that same thing to the next side. So let's fold down, fold over, then open up the rearmost pocket here, <clears throat> then fold the flap down. And there we go, your origami airmail is done. Now what I like to do is just fold this behind. I like to make a mountain fold here that goes perpendicular with this edge here. And then just fold the wings behind like this. And then round that out. And it just gives it a nice little rounded look like wings. So let's do that on the other side. Let's just push this half down here. Or let's make the mountain fold along perpendicular to that edge and there are no exact guidelines I mean this is just shaping you can do do it however you see fit 
And there we go. Let's just plate up the wing again here. Just to make sure everything is all... There we go. And there are slightly more rounded wings. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I am Sam, and I will see you next week. Hey guys, I am Sam, and I want to thank you for watching that last tutorial. If you enjoyed it, well... Hey! Airmail! I didn't think that stuff was real. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials here. And if you have anything you'd like to see me teach uh, next week, or the week after, I guess, leave a comment below or send me a message, a message, and I'll go back to you as soon as possible. I am Sam, and I will see you next Tuesday.